And it was a great day to get outside for any reason. We saw a lot of sunshine as we got into the afternoon and we're still seeing the blue skies this evening. This is a look at our camera in Metropolis tonight. Not a whole lot of activity expected. It's going to continue to be a pretty quiet night and a very comfortable night when it comes to temperatures. Temperatures right now are back into the upper 70s and the low 80s. Cape Girardeau running at about 81 degrees along with Sykeston while Paducah, Marion, Mount Vernon and Carmi are all coming in at 79. So really not a bad night, especially for the end of June. It's going to continue to be a really nice evening. We'll start to see some small changes, though, as we get into the next couple of days. Over the next couple of days, temperatures are slowly going to be heating back up. So our little break from the heat is going to be coming to an end here shortly. Then as we get into the weekend, we will be tracking our next chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Those will be moving in. Unfortunately, I think when a lot of us have some outdoor plans, but for right now, not a whole lot going on. The clouds that we saw off into western Kentucky, those are starting to clear out of the area. And then for the remainder of the evening tonight, mostly clear skies stick around throughout the entire night tonight. And as far as Wednesday goes, we'll wake up to a lot of sunshine, mostly sunny skies stick around throughout the entire day tomorrow. We will start to see some changes though as we start to get into the afternoon. High temperatures are going to start to climb back up into the upper 80s and close to 90 degrees across southern Illinois. Again, some of us getting really close to that 90 degree mark. Carbondale topping out maybe about 89 degrees forecasted high of 88 in Mount Vernon. And then when you push a little bit further to the south, some of our southeastern Missouri folks could hit the low 90s. Cape Girardeau, maybe 91 degrees and then folks off into western Kentucky getting close to 90 again. So unfortunately, the heat is going to be coming back. Storm Track 3 app. You're going to want to have that on your smartphone because the rain's going to be coming back as well. Some much needed rainfall. We are going to be seeing the chances for some isolated storms working their way back into the area by Friday. Really spotty, not very widespread, but they start to become more scattered as we get into Saturday and Sunday next week. And then even some small chances going to be lingering into the early week next week. If we look at the chance for that rain coming up over the course of the next seven days, there's a decent chance, a good signal that we start to see some of that rain coming back. And while a lot of us need some of that rain, unfortunately, it is going to be on a weekend when a lot of us are going to be getting outside. So if you do have any outdoor plans for the holiday weekend, you do want to make sure you're just kind of keeping an eye on some of that activity. It's not going to be a downpour each day. It's not going to be a complete washout, but it's just kind of something to watch. Aside from the chance for the scattered storm activity, temperatures will be pretty seasonable, running about 90 degrees this weekend. All right. Ooh, so the cool spell is over. It's <laughs> over, unfortunately. I wish it could stay. I know. It feels so nice. All right. Thank you, JC. And, you know,